30 seconds, the Spaceship Unity pilots are arming the launch pylon now. We are armed for release, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Trim complete, Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. 40 seconds. 45 seconds. Fifty seconds approaching Mach three. There's Mach three. And sixty seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is two hundred and seventy nine thousand feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So Feather is coming up now, and the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or Reaction Control System, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. All right, Feather is all the way up. We are at about 250,000 feet now and climbing as soon as we cross the boundary to space. We'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Welcome to space, Unity 22. So it doesn't sound like we're about cameras uh, recording things on board today, and we'll be sure to capture his magical words and share them with the world when they're available. We reached Apogee 282,000 feet. Remember the day, remember where you are, and remember who you shared this with, and remember the name Virgin Galactic, because today space is virgin territory the culmination of a life's work, more than a half a century since the world rejoiced in and was transformed by humans leaving planet Earth, Sir Richard Branson fulfills his long-held dream of experiencing space with his crew. Congratulations again, Richard, and congratulations also to Sarisha and Colin on becoming astronauts today. And welcome back to space to Dave, Mike, and Beth. Oh, you can see them now. So we are on the re-entry portion of our flight now, and the mission specialists are heading back to their seats. Our training team has worked really hard on this portion of the flight to make it very natural and intuitive for passengers. Now, when we talk about space travel, a lot of people know and expect the boost portion of the flight to be loud and thrilling, uh, but what's interesting is re-entry is also very similar as supersonic air is flowing over the vehicle in the feathered configuration, shock waves form on top of the cabin, which are audible to those inside. And for those of you on site watching on the ground, you should be able to hear a double sonic boom as Spaceship Unity once again breaks the sound barrier. Thank you. 
All right, folks, we are now subsonic, just under 75,000 feet in altitude. <laughs> 